Hey guys, this is James and welcome to an another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a very quick Adobe Premiere Pro tips, but this tip is very effective if you want to play back one portion of your timeline again and again. So suppose here is my timeline and I want to apply a audio effect. Maybe I want to apply parametric equalizer and then I need to equalize the audio of this clip. I want to monitor this audio again and again so that I can make the small tweak, right? So if I just play back it and then go to the edit section, then just tweaking some section, you can see the clip is jumping to the next clip after making that tweak. So I am not able to monitor the actual audio while I am editing. For this kind of scenario, I want to play back this section again and again so that I can monitor the changes, right? So to do that, we need to make an in point and out point first. How can you make in point in Adobe Premiere Pro? Just go to the section where you want to make an in point and then click on this button which says marking. I'm just clicking here and go to the out section and here you can click on this button or you can just press O on your keyboard. The keyboard shortcut of marking is I on your keyboard and mark out is O on your keyboard. I will suggest you to memorize this shortcut so that you can do the edit very efficiently. So here we have just made in point and out point and now if I just play back you can see still it is jumping to the next clip. So we need to follow one more step. Just go to your program panel and on the bottom section you can see a button called button editor. Click on here and then click on drag this loop playback button on your button section. Then click OK. Now you need to enable this loop playback button. Just click on it. If I just play back this section, you can see the playback is happening again and again. We are just looping the playback so that we can monitor the edit we are doing. So if you are just applying any parametric equalizer, now we can edit this section very efficiently. Maybe I want to increase the high frequency a little bit. Maybe I want to decrease the mid frequency a little bit. So you can just monitor what you are doing in real time when you are doing your video edits so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video or you have learned something new from this video you can just give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel and if you have interest to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing in general then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye